Alright. So, in this episode, we can... So, before we go into this place and continue the story, I'm thinking we should head over to the Coliseum. Coliseums are basically like the gyms in this place. There was once... This... Here... This was once a town ruled by Cypher beneath the cliff here. The town was just called the Under. When Cypher's hold over the town was broken, Under citizens moved out into the sunlight. I'm one of them. Hobius's Ness Net is another former resident of the Under. They went and buried the Under to prevent people from getting the abandoned town site. It's sad to see my hometown go like that. Yeah, it's, that is actually probably the most disappointing thing about this game is that the Under, one of the coolest towns in the previous game, is just gone. It's no longer there. I'm warning you right now. I could get you clear. Oh, I'm warning up right now. Can you i get you to clear the way. Okay. Sorry, kid. Whatever. There's a great ball in here. So, yeah. I'm thinking of going... So, yeah. I'm... If they'll let me, I'm going to go challenge the Coliseum right now. Because... I want to. And there's no way they've... Not... And there's no way... This, they, this would be too high level of an area, right? When Cypher ruled over Pirate, the admin in charge was the man named Minor B. I th think his name was. That name is laughably silly, but he was supposed to be a tough battler. I would like to take him on. He was also over a microbially silly battler. I guess I went into the challenge. Will you be entering at the Pokemon in your party? Yes, I will. I'll show you in. Try hard to win the challenge. So yeah, I'm... My Pokemon are both level 26. I should be fine. Dun 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 dun. So this is basically just a tournament. It'll be like four rounds. If you win each round, then... If you win each round, then... You move... If you win all the rounds, then you get... A prize. Usually a TM or some money. So, interesting bit of trivia. The woman actually has. Well, we'll get to that. Well, she, first of all, she has two Pichu, which is pretty special on its own. But let's see what other Pokemon she has. Sorry, Pichu. Pichu is one of my favorite Pokemon just because of how huge it is. So it's a little shame to see it get hurt like that. She also has a Teddy Ursa. And it's Moochum. Now the reason these Pokemon are significant is that they're the same Pokemon from like the the Pichu and Pichu special that was like was like a little short and also had like a like a thing in like the Pokemon Channel video game. Let's have Teddy Ursa fight Teddy Ursa. No, I'm just Ember this. Oh, well, actually, well, either one's fine. Is 
Pokemon in here might be high level, but they're not very strong. It's like full disclosure, I actually did check to see what level of Pokemon would be in here before taking this on. Which is also where I got a little bit of trivia, so. I guess that probably like the I only like the one time you get trivia on this playthrough. So, enjoy it. <laughs> Not trying to step on any toes here, just thought that was a little interesting. That was the first battle, and it's already six minutes long. This man. I'll try to hurry this one up so we don't have to. So this episode won't go on too long. <laughs> Check him out, my Pokemon from the Golden Trio. Oh! That Golden Trio. Does he have all the second gen starters? Because that'd be pretty cool. Let's take out the Totodile before it's trouble. Cynical. Speaking of cynical, actually, uh, the first time I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which, if you don't know, let you like play as a Pokemon instead of controlling a Pokemon. I don't know, big I know, big difference. But you take a personality test to see which Pokemon you're most like. And in the first game, I was the Cyndaquil. Which was a bit weird because I wasn't a big fan of Cyndaquil at the time, but now I'm now I love Cyndaquil. So I guess that might be part of the reason. Just like, see, so yeah. sorry, there's not much to say on this battle. These are very much just generic battles, but uh. yep, she he doesn't have a Chikorita, so that's cool. Mm, we'll be able to ember that. I wonder if he has any other Pokemon. What is with that idle animation? Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Oh wiggle wiggle wiggle. Oh wiggle wiggle wiggle. Oh wiggle wiggle wiggle. And I could have gone much worse with it. So yeah, he only has three Pokemon apparently. But it's still cool that they have like starters in here. I'm pretty sure you can catch like the second form starters at some point. At least in the second at least in the at least you could in the first game. My Golden Trio! I guess they would be the Golden Trio since it's like they're from Pokemon Gold. And Silver. So it could also be the Golden Silver Trio. But I guess that's a bit long. Would that make the... Would that make Charmander, Bulbasaur, and... Squirtle the Red Trio? I didn't see what that guy said. I was too busy thinking about Christian. Christian and Ralts. So these two aren't much. I should be able to take them out easy. There's no reason to turn and not fan attack. Because fight is Solar's best move, so I want to be using that. And I think Return is more powerful than Faint Attack anyway. A Duskull. Ghost type.
And it's Halo. <laughs> He's such a mixed bag of Pokemon. But I guess it's the uh, same is true for everyone here, isn't it? Uh, same strategy. Just bite and... Oh, it's racked. Oh my god, that Taylo is so hot. <laughs> oh god, did I really just say that? <laughs> Yeah, Roosevelt don't need no love. He's a strong, independent Teddy Ursa. <laughs> Grr, I've been beaten. I guess we'll save the next. I guess we'll save the last guy for the next episode. So I'll see you then.